Hey everyone, how y'all doing? First video of the new year. It's 2022. And been doing these videos, EDC slash knife videos, for two years now. Um, yeah, it's unbelievable. It's been two years. Over 1,500 subscribers. Um, two years seems like a long time, and it is, but... Then again, it seems like I just did the first video last week. But yeah, so first video of the year, first knife unboxing of the year. Um, actually, I ordered this last week, um, still 2021, but I got it today. It's the third, and yeah, so let's get let's get right into it. Knife I carry today was the bench made. Mini Presidio 2. Love this knife. It's one of my favorite EDC knives. But yes, cut this open. This is from Smoky Mountain Knife Works, so I'll take the paperwork out. I don't see anything. Got a the old classic sticker and that sticker and I think that's it so cool got more stickers and this is definitely a rough rider knife so this is one that I've kind of wanted since I've seen it, and it's inexpensive, fourteen ninety nine regular price, but they had a year end blowout sale or whatever, and I saw this listed for eleven ninety nine or eleven something, so I'm like I'm getting it now. I always kind of wanted it, thought about getting it a dozen times or more, but this is model. RR2167. Let's check this thing out. So, I really bought this for the navity of it. And, um, you'll see. But I think it's kind of cool looking. Yeah, I cannot get this box open. There we go. And you can see it comes in a belt case sheath that's that that's the box so see the title you know what it is but let's check this case out nylon it's got a belt loop back here um I don't know you can see it's already pulling out in the stitching a little bit well maybe not yeah, I don't know. I don't know how much I trust that. I don't think it's going to come apart. But yeah, I got nice belt loop for a nice wide belt. Got a different kind of snap here. It's got like this extra little grommet here. Pull tab. But yeah, pull this thing out. It's one of those semi-rigid cases. Pretty cool. Wrapped up in this paper. And here it is. You got the big foot lock back. Now that's pretty cool looking. I'm not sure. I'm not sure exactly how that's done. The dark, the dark part of it is raised. The lighter parts, I can feel the difference there. But yeah, let's check that out. Bigfoot. I think that's pretty cool. This side, I like the lighter, lighter colored wood. So yeah.
centering it's not too bad it's matchstick or yeah match strike poles brass liners brass pins looks like the nickel silver bolsters might be brass yeah nickel silver back there's hardly any gaps back in the back it's a little gap going up along there transition from the wood to the bolsters are is nice boy check this thing out feels a little bit gritty right now half stop it's got a half stop that's cool yeah that snaps right in place not a small knife um i don't know if it's the size of a buck 110 let me get my buck 110 slim select out just for a size comparison yeah it is the size it is the size of a 110 buck 110 so it's kind of copying that style clip point flat grind oh no that's a hollow hollow grind feels fairly sh yeah sharp I don't even know if I got paper test it check the back lockout oh boy that's gonna take a little break and then that's that's pretty tight wow yeah yeah the centering's not bad I think it's pretty cool. Nice con contoured scales here. Got the swell. Oh, they're real comfortable. It's real comfortable in hand. It's not, and it's not extremely, doesn't feel extremely heavy. That's pretty cool. But yeah. Definitely a polished blade. Got the Rough Rider right there. Model number. Again, RR2167, made in China, like most, most or all Rough Riders. See a little gap right there. But, yeah, 11 bucks, 12 bucks I paid for it. It's normally 15 bucks. Yeah, it's, it's a, it's worth 15 bucks. It is 420A stainless steel, so not the definitely not the best steel in the world. But yeah, this thing's sharp. Let's try this. I'm not going to return it. So let's do get this Harry's um, razor club thing. So. Check it out. Yeah. I'm liking it. Check it out. Like I said, I really bought it for the novelty of it, Bigfoot, but it's actually pretty cool. Let's get this one out of the way. Already right, does size comparison. So it's the size of the Buck 110. Slim Select, which should be the same size as a regular Buck 110. Yeah, I'm digging this. Kind of surprised. A little bit sharp. A little bit sharp right in the inside there. Not bad. Not bad. Like I always say, I wear extra large size gloves. Got plenty of handle. No sort of jumping on top, but I don't think you need it for this. Lockback is really stiff. 
I like the half stop. Yeah, it does feel a little, a little gritty or something right there. Well, a drop of just a little bit of lube in there. Yeah, that locks up a little bit side to side, but then again, there's a lot more side to side on this one. You can see that. This one has just a little bit. No up no up or down movement at all. That's locked up good. He yeah, has some um, do some overall measurements and stuff. So you got overall length eight and a half inches blade length three and uh three and five eighths blade edge you got keeps moving on me blade edge you got three and a quarter of um cutting edge Handle is about four and seven eighths. Yeah, just about. So it's not a small knife. It um <clears throat> check out blade thickness. Pretty chunky blade right here. Zero point one five Move diamond. Mean. Zero point one five zero. See there. The thickest part of the handle. Zero point six four four. The bolsters. Zero point four five. Check back here. Zero point four five. Same. How much does this baby weigh? Skip the scale down. <clears throat> Power it up. It weighs 5.7 ounces. That's not, that's not horrible. Um, let me see. Let's check out the Dam Designs Windigo. This is a chunky knife. That weighs 5.6. Almost the same. That's 5.7. Oh, what other beef, beefy knife I got here? That might be my heaviest one. Yeah, um, how about the Orion Solaris? Can't be close, that's five ounces, so not bad. Obviously, there's no pocket clip on this. You can either chuck it in your pocket, carry it in the sheath, that works pretty good. Got a nice snap on it. This thing, I don't know if I like, I like this extra piece. That is kind of, gives you something to get your finger under instead of curling up the edge here and maybe pulling on the, pulling the button out. I've done that before I, you know, less than premium pouches, but yeah. That's, that's a little sharp. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not digging that at all. Um, I'm going to do something different there, but overall, pretty good package. Just out of curiosity, what's it weigh all together in the sheath? 
6.6 ounces. So what? Uh, the sheep weighs like an ounce. Not bad. I'm digging it. Definitely going to my Rough Rider collection. I mean, I've gotten some... Um, I thought I had it up here on my shelf. You know, I got the Rough Rider Zombie Nick Razor. Um, that's pretty cool. I like that. Something different. Is that it? No. Well, anyways. Can't seem to locate it. It's not in my box. It's not in my toolbox. I had it up here on the shelf. But anyways. Check these out. $14.99 Smoky Mountain Knife Works. If you're in the Bigfoot. You want an inexpensive. You know. Knife styled after the buck 110. I think this is going to do it. Um, yeah, it's super sharp right now. Definitely, you know, won't stay sharp forever. 420A skill. Got a little tiny sharpening choil. Get the focus. Yeah, pretty nice. I like it. So I guess that's it for this video. First knife of the year, the Bigfoot Rough Rider knife. Yeah, I like it. I think it's pretty cool. So, yeah, I guess that's it for this knife, this video. Uh, stay tuned. I got a lot of reviews. I'm way behind on re reviews. I got some cool stuff to go over. And, yeah, I might do a video. Um... Kind of explaining what I've been up to through the holidays till now. Um, I haven't put out too many videos in the past month. And I might do a video explaining why and maybe what to expect coming up. But definitely stay tuned. Got a lot more knives and EDC stuff to show you. And... Guess that's it. As usual, you know, hit the like button, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, and until the next video, bye.